certainly heard many stories about children suffering through war and conflict, and now we're seeing them through the eyes of one photojournalist. Larry Price captured some powerful images of children who lived through war's darkest side in the Democratic Republic of Congo and are now trying to move forward from those painful memories. We listened to uh, a dozen very sad, tragic stories, but, you know, as uh, writer Rick Paddock and I were talking about on the, on the, uh, the plane flight home, you know, there was sort of hope, you know, um, at the end of each of these interviews. I mean, these, um, these individuals had all been, you know, kidnapped or, um, in some couple of cases, they'd actually joined um, the FDLR rebel factions and um, Eastern DRC, and um, they were trying to get their lives back in order. So, you know, as tragic as these stories were, they were in this process uh, of going through reentry, you know, into Congolese society. So, uh, you know, by and large, um, these were some of the lucky ones. I mean, for, for the for the the twelve lives that we were allowed into for a short period of time, you know, there were thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of individuals who uh, didn't fare so well. So, how do you capture the pain, the horror? but also the hope. I was trying to look for just the, the nugget of expression um, in the portrait sessions, and these all took place very quickly. I mean, uh, I'm, in, in most cases, I made the photographs um, in just a few minutes. Um, the interviews took much longer, but um, I, I scouted locations in, this, in these little areas that we were working in and uh, did the portrait sessions, you know, very quickly. These people were very upset, especially after talking about uh, their experiences for a couple of hours. Um, um, they, you know, they, they, it was emotionally trying. It was all they could do to, to uh, keep their composure. But, you know, in a sense, that was, you know, my job was to create the most compelling, um, intense, um, straightforward portrait I could, relying on nuance and expression. And Larry, what, why did you want to get involved in a project like this when the stories are so horrific? Well, uh, again, it's, you know, these are untold stories. I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, most people, if, if they pay attention to current events, un understand there's been a legacy of war in uh, uh, the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, you know, for many, many years. And of course, you know, it's, it's been reported in the media, but, you know, just, you know, how horrific some of these and compelling some of these stories are is probably, I would, you know, I would say it's uh, not forgotten, but, you know, underreported. So, you know, we were, our role is to make people aware. You know, that's what, uh, you know, as a documentary photographer, that's what I do. My job is to raise awareness and uh, at the end of the day, hopefully, you know, uh, it, it, we, there's always a point of view, but at the same time, trying to uh, shed, shed light on an untold story, um, uh, evoke some hope. We'll see it. And what is the overall message here that you want people to get out of this? Uh, you know, people looking at your photos, what do you want them to learn? The idea that people can have the, be thrust into these terrible, terrible situations but, you know, at the end of the day, there's redemption. I mean, some of these people did horrific things, and, you know, they're coming to terms with them. And you can read about the stories, and you can see the faces, and you, you can just almost live, you know, their, their pain and their anguish. But at the end of the day, they're trying to get their lives back together. So there is a message of hope there. Larry Price, thank you, and thank you for your incredible photos.